Not everyone has a stadium. Not everyone has thousands of fans screaming their names. Not everyone has access to a field. Some don't even have their own bats. But we all have the streets. They don't need a baseball glove. They don't need a baseball. They don't need a bat. It's something simple as a stick ball and a broomstick. Stick ball and baseball is a, a team, a unity. Stick ball may come from baseball, but it's modified. It requires creativity and innovation. You want to hit the ball right where I'm taping this, right here. You have to change how you play based on the surroundings you find yourself in. It requires you to put your accent on baseball. The game is almost played like baseball. It's regular bases, first, second, third. You have eight or nine guys on the field. For the kids, we have two swings. At home plate, you see over there, you the home plate, right, the big thing. There's a line in front of it. You can't pass that line when you hit the ball. You gotta hit the ball behind that line. Right? So you bounce the ball anywhere in that area, you bounce it, and then you hit it. And then you run the bases like normal. Stick ball is very important to the community. One, because it unifies people um, from all ethnic backgrounds. Um, you know, it's great because we get the kids from the community, um, inner city, out of city kids, um, and we teach them the concept of, of respect, of family. It unifies everybody, and you get to meet a lot of different people that you never knew that actually enjoy the game and know what the game is about. For me, stickball started everywhere because in DR, um, they didn't play stickball, but they played a game called Pitilla, which is close to stickball, but you're playing with a top. For you to hit a top and be able to hit a top, you should be able to hit a stickball with no problem.